Welcome or welcome back to C Square. In this uh, video clip, we're gonna talk about vertical angles, and for those vertical angles, I'm gonna use GeoGebra.org. You see the uh, website right here, and here on this website, we have uh, this app which is called Geometry. So I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna get the uh, Geometry app, which has two sides: the left side where we see tools and the right side where we're going to do the drawing and the definition of vertical angle is um, two non-adjacent angle created by two intersecting lines so I'm going to click on this tool line and I'm going to draw line AB and also I'm going to draw one more line line CD and if you notice, these two lines intersect in this point, which GeoGebra will call it E, and I'm able to move it a little bit now. And as I said, you, you notice we have four angles. One, two, three, four. And what is cool about these angles, we're going to see in a moment. I'm going to click here on More. And I'm going to use this tool, which says Measure. And I'm going to measure the angle D. E, B, and if you notice that angle is 47 degree. Similar, I'm gonna measure uh, the other vertical, uh, the angle that is vertical of this, which, which is angle A, E, C. Uh, so I'm gonna go down here again, measure angle and C, E, A. And let's see how much that angle is. It also, it's also 47 degrees. Vertical angles are congruent angles. They have the same measure. In this case, 47. But you notice we have two more angles here. DEA and BEC. Those are also vertical angles and they should be congruent also. So I'm going to see if that is correct. So I'm going to measure D, E, A, and also B, E, C. And uh, first of all, I'm going to move this 133 degrees so you can see it. Okay, hopefully you can see this angle E, and you see they are the same measure. Uh, on this GeoGebra, I can also change a little bit the, the format because I think the way they can be confusing. So I'm going to go here on settings. And you know what? Let me change the color, make this red and the style. I think it, more, it makes more sense as a geometry teacher and geometry student. The same story here. Uh, let me change this to... Uh, in settings and you notice I think it's better now to see the red angles are congruent the black angles are congruent also you may want to notice that 47 plus 133 is 180 yes uh, adjacent angle are also supplementary they form a line and you see that also here 47 133 or any other combination so we have these two properties when we draw two intersecting lines. We have vertical angles that are congruent and adjacent angles, they are supplementary because they form a line. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.